Hello and welcome to EFAP TV. This is actually the first Hello. EFAP TV format one to be released. Welcome to... We've had other ones that didn't release. <laughs> I'm weird and no one likes me! I guess you could call this the first of the last of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, new format. V We've shown people this format before in, in, in episodes, I just we haven't had a chance to use it yet. Yeah, EFAP yeah. Let's play it safe. Welcome to 2024, everybody. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So weird. I feel like this one deserves a little bit of preamble, right? We got different levels of familiarity yeah. here. The yeah. Last of Us, the yeah. IP, the wonderful, wonderful IP that people, seriously, for one entry, people adored that IP. Not bad, yes. did a good it job. Was, uh, I believe it was Naughty Dog's most successful game, more so than even Uncharted. So, and you hear about it everywhere. I remember I picked it up real late. I was like, fine, I'll play this video game. And then I was like, that was good. Question mark, and then I was you like, know, "Hmm." It's funny that you say that because my experience was similar. I bought it for uh, the remaster for PS4, and I was like, "That was I really liked it, but not as much as everybody else." <laughs> I just remember that was the. I had so many mechanical line. complaints, but I was like, "I yeah, like the story AI, a lot, though." AI was really bad, but yes, the story was strong. Straightforward, simple, but hit a lot of beats and did so very effectively. And they're doing the what is it? It has an archetype name like wolf and cub or something. That's the thing. The common, yeah, the disgruntled, jaded old uh, man going on an adventure with a kid and which then young whippersnapper. Well, and it's funny to look back on, right? Because a lot of people yeah. said God of War 2018 is just like a blatant ripoff of The Last of Us, but now with Ragnarok, it's like they've finished out their story and it's fucking golden. How Last of Us uh, do it yeah, again? It's... it's like, shut up. Well, it's, I mean, it's kind of funny, right? Because it's it's the same thing where like Logan, right? People said it was ripping off children yeah. and men. It, it's just like, you know what? It's just like a storytelling like format. You're saying <laughs> like, this. Maybe that's all with... it is. Having watched, uh, we, we just decided for the fun of it, not for anything else, to watch Kung Fu Panda, and it's just like, Hero's, Hero's journey. journey. Yeah, just yep, hardcore really, Hero's Journey. Really well done. Because it's, it's the, the reality is that simple or complicated, people want to be moved, people want to feel something, people want to learn something about themselves or about the world. So even though The Last of Us is really straightforward, it's, you know, two people traveling across America, right, to maybe, like, save the world. And yet so much of it is derived from just those character interactions between Joel and Ellie and the people that they encounter on their adventure and how the two come to trust each other and value each other. It's a really strong story. And then they, they made a sequel to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because it's like, oh yeah, that was, was that four years ago? What the fuck? That was uh, three, and a half? three years ago, nearly uh, oh, okay. 2020. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, because th and the Last like... of Us itself is 10 years old this year. For some reason, that's easier for me to swallow than than how old Last of Us Two is. Last of Us Two, for some reason, feels like it's Older new still. Than... No new. Oh, okay. it does feel new. Okay. It does feel new. It doesn't feel like it's nearly three years old. And maybe it's just yeah. a matter of um. It seems like Naughty Dog has been subsumed by The Last of Us to the detriment or to the exclusion of anything else that they could be making. Um, that's kind of how it feels right. Right now because the last of us was their last new ip and that was 10 years ago and they used to make them way more frequently there'd be a new one every generation and maybe they're working on a new one but it seems like yeah the last of us has become they're working on a multiplayer mode for two that they've been working on for like years they did the remaster or the remake actually for the first one because they did the first one then they did a remaster and now they've done a remake for ps5 and now they're doing the show which um neil Druckmann is directly involved in like in a major way to set the stage there you've got one a landscape of media yep. that's not great we 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 most of the time you're getting a bad thing. Second part, it's an IP that was once beloved and is falling apart. And then three, it's an adaptation of a video game. So, but an adaptation of the video game that people loved. The one that everybody likes. Right. Well, I, all I'm trying to say is that this is where we're at. And of course, uh, dis discourse has followed for that reason. Being like, great, here we go again. And that's not to even include all of the weird comments about the production of this thing that have that have existed it's been a strange litany of comments about video games as a storytelling medium their merits compared to like film and television a lot of very dismissive remarks a lot of dismissive remarks about video games and other adaptations it's kind of like it's 2023 Arcane exists now, and and I mean that's that's like one of many, right? Obviously of varying quality, but like there was Castlevania, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I mean Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, you know, you know. Um, at, at, well, because it seems like at this point we are very much in the era of yeah, we're gonna adapt video games because like the number of Sony ones, like there's a Horizon show, God of oh, War damn. show, a Gears of War show, uh, and film, I believe, and they're making Bioshock t TV show movie. Mm. Dude, it feels so weird because Bioshock, Gears, and uh, God of War, they're all things I care about a lot. Like depending on the well, era, sort of it's thing. all of that era, you know. It's uh like the late two thousands. That's kind. Kind of, uh, I don't think I can take it if all three are horrible. Well, oh. it's interesting because now we're in the era where they're getting the money, right? They're getting the money, but oh, fuck, yeah, why? Of course, there was Halo as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was a Halo <laughs> show. Everyone has forgotten um, about it or they don't want to think well, about it at all. It's, it seems now at this point it's going to be impossible not to compare The Last of Us, one of Sony's flagship titles, and Halo, Microsoft's flagship title, and like yeah. the quality of those two shows. That, that's going to be an inescapable conversation, yeah. as is, of course, the nature of this adaptation, too. We absolutely should be getting the meme of Homer is Microsoft. Like, why does it mine look like that? Yeah, yeah. It's one fine looking barbecue pit. Why does it mine look like that? Well, Shit writers and people it, who didn't care about Halo. I was just going to say, if this is better than Halo, but the better. thing is. That is such an easy bar to pass that I'd be very surprised, especially with the level of blueprint they've got to work with. The relevant question, obviously, with this show is, is it going to be great? Um, mm. Which, it, at least based on the initial critical reception, seems to be, like, overwhelmingly positive. Like, We've been hearing good things. things. Yes, from audiences as well. I've heard nothing but positive things. This seems to be... It, it, it really is a situation where it seems like all of the stars align for something good, right? You got a lot of backing behind it, so there's not going to be any limitations by a way of what you want to achieve technically. Got a lot of great actors in the cast. One of the showrunners made Chernobyl, but then also, you know, one of the showrunners made The Last of Us Part 2. But he also <laughs> made the first one. He made the first one too. It's the thing that that's, probably... Whatever that comes forgotten. up. The old adage, what have you done for me lately? And that's that's the truth. Is what has he done lately in uh, The Last of Us 2? But... He still made, the and he did work on Uncharted as well, you know? Like, mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got a resume, and there's some good stuff on that resume. Well, so that's um, actually one of the worries a lot of people have, is that this show, it may very well take a lot from Last of Us 1, but it's going to be tweaking it until it matches yeah. the Last of Us 2 better. Yes, which is funny. That's, like, the right decision if you want to adapt both of them, right? If you want to adapt the second one to actually try and sense. More logically account to make sense of it but you are gonna piss character. everyone off when you do that well it's just interesting because it's almost like it's not a retcon but it's almost like a meta retcon you know <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's kind of like yeah, a retcon that you almost want to apply on a grander level to include the video game yeah people want the last of us to be adapted they don't want to see the last of us retold by neil Druckmann's preferences years or later that's not what people want we at efap you shouldn't be surprised by this take but if they actually did fix all of the problems in The Last of Us 2 story-wise and found a new adapt adapted and, and fixed up Last of Us 1 to match it. It involves Joel getting killed with a golf club. I'm pretty sure we said in our coverage, like, there is a way you could do that. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be real fucking not hard. The not the way they did it in the, the game. That's, that's no, sure. we, we, we've got examples of great heroes getting killed. It's, it's just, like, the word respect keeps plowing into my mind. It's like, yeah, you gotta fucking respect them. You can't do it the way you did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not respect. That's very bad. Lots of different things being said about this already. It's a big old conversation piece because this show isn't just a show. It represents a lot more than that. A little bit yeah, of progress does. in the media landscape. What will this be remembered a as? Sense. A step forward, a step back, a step to the side? <laughs> we'll just find out. Ah, oh, HBO. I associate oh. them with good things because of House of the Dragon. They, well, I mean, that's, that's not Velma <laughs> category. Well, that's God. HBO Max. Oh, so, well, of course we end up with a global pandemic. pandemic. How relevant. Also, oh, that's John Hanna on the left. Oh my God, he's older. He's in The Mummy, if you guys remember. Do I know you? No, no, no. I, I've just got one of those faces. He was the funny I, brother. The guy on the, uh, the oh, right. Oh, yeah, is, you're right. Yeah. Man, that's... The guy on the uh, right is the viewer's big head from Silicon Valley. He's a completely useless appendage, and we all know it. Oh, hey, man. That's cool. I'm just having a moment of everything's so old. <laughs> yeah. Not bacteria, not viruses, so... Mushrooms. There are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. Fungus starts to direct the ant's behavior, telling it where to go, what to do, like a puppeteer. The person in the middle doesn't seem like a real person, <laughs> like a robot or an android. He's an NPC so in the background. 
that keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. Oh. Dr. Schoenheist, you're in distress. He's having a bad time. of this kind is real, but not in humans. True, fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over 94 degrees. What if the world were to get slightly warmer? Well, now there is reason to evolve. A one warming. gene mutate, cordyceps, aspergillus, there it is. any one of them could be. That's the one. It, it is, The there Last of Us deserves a lot of credit for a really creative new type of zombie. Yeah, and I would say this is a good start too. This is yeah. a good start. This is an interesting way of delivering this uh, essentially exposition. So if that happens, we lose. <clears throat> oh, you would have thought he would, he would he do a, a fun thing do a joke like, or something. Yeah. Well, let's hope course, that that's doesn't never going to happen. Yeah. Oh, that's time I buy card. some Portobello from the Krogers. What are they going to like choose the to do? I do like the are real neat now. They put a lot of effort into them. Gotta love that theme, too. And the music. Yeah. But actually, the, I think they, they didn't. brought back the composer. <laughs> they brought back the composer. Yeah, I'm there just thinking is. about Halo. <laughs> Well, yeah, because Halo, they butchered it. They didn't like. The they they brought back the Halo you recognize, the Halo music for that like one moment at the end, so that you could fucking hate them. Yeah, for just <laughs> discarding everything else. Whereas here, they actually brought back the original composer. They brought back a lot of people. I think Tro uh, Troy Baker uh, is in it. Ashley Johnson as well, like in small roles. It's like that's nice. Steve Downs didn't get anything based on the game. PlayStation, we can't have our MCU, but we could corner the market on video games. Oh, that, no, they have a PlayStation Studios, like, MCU logo for their films and stuff. I saw it before Uncharted. It's got, like, Aloy, Ratchet and & Clank and stuff in it. Oh, I was referring to, like, them oh, yeah. having a, the ancient that's, times. That's 10 years. What, well, I'm interested. Is this, are they starting it earlier? They're starting where the game starts, right? No, the game was 2013. Interesting. Game starts the same uh, time as the, the like as the year it came out, so this is earlier. Yeah, this room is so gay. Girls can be gay so now, no rags. No, that's true. A lot of them. Oh my god, Dinjarin! It's, it's Joel. <laughs> Dinjarin, my favorite. No, Star he's character. from Krypton. He's Joel. No, it's Max Lord. <laughs> Pedro Pascal really isn't like the top world, isn't he? <laughs> he's doing all right, I think. Yeah. You know, I don't really like pancakes. I know you don't like them. It's for my benefit. You can get your uh, homework done. Fractions. <laughs> Still, I'm um, giving a good listen to that accent. Yeah. Oh, he's doing. Yeah, he is. He's putting it on. Is there enough for Uncle Tommy? Oh, Don't Uncle Tommy. Ah, that's alive, him. Still alive, you old fucker. Oh, he loves you. He's dependent on me. Not the same. I'm not splitting his job. I barely want to split it with you. I'll be done by nine. By nine, right? I'll bring back a cake. I promise. I mean, I can tell he's trying, but it mostly sounds like him to me. It does, but maybe he's just not doing a super emphasized one. Your t-shirt's inside out. See, this is what I was thinking, like, one of the benefits, I guess, that it, it's, again, it's just like, when you're making a video game, especially when you got a lot of combat, it's like, well, you know, sometimes you have the challenge of how much do we have of no combat versus combat compared to yeah, you how much time can we spend. For every you know, minute here. you spend not doing combat, you're risking it. Whereas in this case, it's like, well, you can have the whole day, right? Yeah. Instead of starting, like, right at the outbreak. Hey guys, we got to spend a little bit more time seeing what Joel's, you know, normal life looked like. And yeah, that watch will matter. Oh, yeah. Knife. Those are some it's older so weird because too. I wonder when they were making this, that they were making it with the point of view in mind that everyone knows what's going to happen. Well, they no, have to do a large retard. number of- it's a very successful game. Yeah, so like a lot of people know, know exactly how this goes. Kind of like how if you do Batman's origin on the- Oh, they're setting up the, uh, setting up the neighbor. You know, I do really like The Last of Us. <laughs> I do like it too. <laughs> the original game. <laughs> we got a lot of extra here. He's a zombie. Is he feeding him mushrooms? Well, because the, the idea in the game is that it was, like, disseminated through food. But yeah. No, um, Atkins diet. Atkins was relatively it had a popularity around then, didn't it? In what the two thousands? Put that out. Happy birthday to you. Operation Desert Storm. Oh, bat veteran. Oh, Storm the desert. His uh, his brother seems to be they, uh, going harder on the accent than he is. And yeah, twenty sixth of September. That was outbreak day. So Bush. This is the day. Yeah. I thought they lived in Dallas. Did they live in Austin? I mean, it doesn't, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just... Because, yeah, we are spending much more time with her, I guess, than uh, 
I mean, you, if you got ten episodes, right? Like, I think I think that's well. a good decision. Yeah, I think it's a really good decision. I don't see how it could be a bad one. I guess that hair's coming in handy. It's like little pillows yeah. on the sides of your head there. I'm just waiting for the Shaun of the Dead style, like, someone falls over Wait in there. Waiting for somebody to start <laughs> coughing, yeah. <laughs> Reports of I'm today not... of many people falling over. Well, it's going to be hard to top Shaun of the Dead's montage of flipping through it's all the It's just hard to top Shaun of the Dead's fucking great movie. Yeah. Oh, well, little cat... Thing, clock. That makes me think of Simpsons. That I think they have a clock. Yeah. Like that, I wonder if all those clocks on the wall are correct. It must ah, be madness there, staring there. at him, being fire wrong engine. all day. The fire engine there, is there, to put there. out the fires on the mushrooms. Well, and SWAT team there. They're called fire trucks, but they dispense water. It makes no fucking sense. Humans are stupid. Apparently, they made up a whole language just for this scene. Things don't seem right. I don't like that though. Before. The clock becomes clearer when the the line comes down. Line goes down. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't make you feel so bad about closing. Mm-hmm. Getting something for my dad. Uh, hi, Mercy. I'm worried about that old lady. Is everything okay? Like on the news? Now it's like, all shit, then? like always. People out there need to get right with Jesus. Oh good. I was thinking we'd make some cookies. Chocolate chip. Raisin. Oh. No one likes those old lady. No one likes those. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Every raisin you bought could have been a chocolate chip purchased. You fool. Oh good, the raisin cookies no one will eat are done. <laughs> She'll eat one of them. Grandma could eat them. Grandma's, that's the only thing she eats. She only eats raisin cookies. Everyone starts to like raisins when they get old. That's just how it works. Because they feel like they are turning into raisins. <laughs> they become cannibals. Hey, Mrs. Adler, could I borrow this? That's creepy. That was nice and creepy. Oh, I should go. You sure? Yeah. Well, you're taking yeah. some cookies. If you give someone raisin cookies, you're essentially saying, here, you throw these away. <laughs> here, I don't like you. <laughs> Back to normal, I guess. Oh, Doggo don't trust it. Doggo's can sense bullshit. He's like, Grandma, you're not Grandma. The other thing, you're making a show like this, it's always tempting to just, how will you portray this world slowly showing signs of falling apart? It's weird to see jets, but, well, I guess the air is where they'd be. It's ten. Oh no. Gave us the wrong size for the headers. Where's the cake? Shit. Come on, man. I'll get us one tomorrow. Fixed it for you. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Thank you. This scene is really beat for beat. It's even yeah. got, like, identical dialogue in a Don't lot of places. Well, and that's the thing. It feels weird, but it's true, I guess, to say they're doing well. It's like, yeah, you're following the guy. I think they're doing well. Yeah, I think they're doing well. Here. What's this? Your birthday? Hmm. Fixed it for you. You kept complaining about your broken watch. So, uh, figured, you know. You like it? I think mean, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> that was lame. <laughs> You're lame. Yeah, I know. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. It's better when I do. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. It was only $20, which I stole from you. Besides, it's the thought that counts. And you were never going to do it for yourself, so. Yeah, so far, I'm digging it. I want to see what happens next. Well, that's well, the thing, right? If none of us knew no, anything, no and we right. watched this with zero context, that opening scene has already set the stage, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the creepy granny and the... Because he said, if you don't get me out today, you won't be able to get me out at all, assuming they don't let people out on Saturdays and Sundays? Justice is off uh, on I weekends. I actually don't know. I was just curious. I don't either. I, I didn't know, know that that's a thing. I wonder if we're gonna... No, we're not... Okay, so, yeah. This is basically where... Closer to where the... This is where... Everything the goes The game wrong. began with that scene, basically. And yeah. this is, yeah. 
Oh no, aliens. Interesting too, because this this game came out around about the craze for the zombie stuff, right? The zombie era of media. And that was like Walking Dead was huge. Um, they should be yeah. watching. Could would they be watching Paul W S Anderson's Resident Evil series? I think the first yeah. one was out by then, right? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> that was the dog's vision of stupid woman. Come back. You fool! They said to stay indoors. If the dog doesn't want to go home, you know something's up. Oh, is she gonna no joke. go inspect a bit? You can add that in. Why not? A little unsettling. Well, That's really open. unsettling. The door open like that, yeah. Blur. I'm half the expecting like seat. grandma's just staring at the wall in one of these rooms or something. Yeah, it's something weird. That empty wheelchair has been in two shots pretty deliberately right now. Did she be taking and getting a cell phone and calling dad? I feel like this thing? would be enough to call him. This yeah, she was asleep when he left, so she should be panicking a bit. Yeah, it is 2003 though. She might on. actually. Did she have a phone? Oh boy. Close the door anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely would have been closing doors myself. Get the truck! Right now! What are we doing, Joe? Why would you drop that? Why would you drop that? You fool! It just saved your life! Keep it! He Is he worried about the blood on it? Or? We gotta go, Sarah. Listen to me. It's not just the Adlers. We're gonna be brave, and we're gonna get out of this. Hey, let's go, come on! You lock your doors now! Come on, come on, get in! You just killed Granny Adler! Three fish, she was running at us. You was crazy. Oh, you're dead, buddy. You take Daddy. We don't know. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. Is it from terrorists? We don't know. That'd be a fair question, the, the, the 2003. Age of it. Yeah. Of course not. Yep. How do you know we're not sick? You're saying it's mostly people in the city. I went into the city. We have to go a lot. Right? We're fine, trust me. Listen, lady. We'll just have to wing it. Hopefully we're okay, alright? Whether we got it or not, we gotta go. Oh, they, this is what I mean. It's like, yeah, there are a lot of bits that hit one. Just so like, just... Keep hey, driving, stop. Tommy. Stop! Keep driving. We're going yeah. Back. That's important for Joel's character. Yeah, it is. Come along. Someone else to come along. By the way, just this is already so much more work for him to do than in Mandalorian. This can work. Yeah, Absolutely. It's because Joel Cause he didn't do character. shit in Mandalorian. Mando is nobody. They're riding a little low. They're very low. Oh, this is bad. Everyone and their mother had the same damn idea. The sequence looking from the back seat. Well, it's, it's just like in the game. Turn here, turn here. No, 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 no. Come on, people, move. What are they running from? Get us out of here. I'm trying. Yep. Even I remember that. Yeah, yeah missed pot. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going. We can't stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them. They're Go. back up there. They're behind me, too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. Uh-oh. Head of the river, I'll find a way. Wait, what? Get her out of here, Joel, go! Surely he can go around, right? He can just go around, yeah. Yeah, he can it... just go around. Can you run? Is it like so close to the wall he can't get over? That is incredibly inconvenient. Okay. Eh. I feel like you could. Just, yeah, I feel like you could get. You could. We're in oh, the games. They, in the game. Yeah, you can crawl together. over. If you you're this desperate, over. you would absolutely jump over the the trunk yeah, of uh, the police just crawl car. Over. Yeah. Oh jeez. Close doors. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, I guess it was really close. 
still. Because right now you don't even know if these things are smart enough to follow you through doors. I'm sorry, repeat. Hey, no one told you to move. Yes, sir. We're not sick. <laughs> sir. We are not sick! Please stop. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing that he didn't kill you. Yeah. It's actually fucking miraculous that you are not dead. You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. Move your hand. Oh. I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. Oh. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Joe. Come on, look it up. Come on, baby. Come That's about everything I would have expected them to do. Uh, yep. I would not have expected them to deviate from that. They, well, I mean... Really? And tell the same story. It's instrumental. This is after Godzilla. I was going to say it was Boston and King of the Monsters, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Got nuked, and then they totally pretended that didn't happen. We don't want you falling out of the chair. What's your name? How did you get this? What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat? Would you like that? It's just a little needle. You're safe. I think they cut to a harsh fire after her saying that on purpose. So did Joel say in this he was 30-something for the 20-year gap? Uh, well, because in the game, he's about 50. So it's probably, yeah, about matches. Or like 55, something like that. Mm. He's fairly old. No surprise here. Yep. He was infected! Yeah, because uh, it showed red on the little detector thing, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> This isn't in the game. Jim, we're going to be meeting Tess yeah. pretty soon. Yeah. I'm actually curious what we are going to see in total the first in episode. What, like this episode? Yeah, because yeah. hour and a half. Damn. My yeah, guess would be that That's we're going to get three, basically three, three, Joel and Ellie three, three, meeting. Um, and, the, and then like episode three, two, three, I imagine, is them leaving Boston. Reckon That's the thing. season ends with the end of the game. I think so. That would be, which I guess is I, interesting. That seems like a safe like, bet. How long can you keep it going? I suppose is the interesting question. Because yeah, we've got the uh, there, the whole... we got two games, you know. So, well, and there's um, yeah. there's a lot of things that happen in the game that you can extend. That's true. Well, it's it's part of kind of I guess what's going to be interesting as an adaptation is like I imagine that we're going to get a lot of things extended. Man, this, you execute them, there's nothing else we can do? I guess leaving quarantine zones is a huge no -no. It is. Well, yeah, because if you leave but, and then sneak back in, then you could destroy everything. Yeah, if you snuck out way. and sneak back but in. Like, yeah. yeah. I wonder if the first punishment should be exile. Well, then you uh, just... Well, yeah, I think I guess, if you maybe. knew that, then... But they might come back in, right? If they well, snuck if they, back that's in That's what once, I'm saying, first again. punishment. If they are exiled yeah. and they come back, then maybe death is I guess suitable. the thing is, is that maybe they don't want to take any chances. I guess so. Ah, this world. world. Sorry, I, I didn't just, expect you to count. I could imagine they could be upset here and there because of uh, family members making mistakes, you know. Bartering. Bring it back. Uh, it's pronounced bataring. Bartaring. Bartaring. Like tartar sauce. Hi. From Atlanta? I don't know where he gets them from. I just know they're real. Supposedly only makes two things. Pills and bullets. So the more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. <sighs> oh, you guess? I need to bag back. That's, I like that as a touch. That even plastic need the bag back. Yeah. Like, yeah, I I would like that back. Four of them on that. Stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking fireflies been blowing shit up all week. Guys are jumpy and tired. What was he getting for that? Was it um? Uh, he got food credits, I think. Because remember that was in the game, right? Like the food yeah. stamps or tokens, tickets, something like that. It's not like I planned on ripping you off. How about we just let it go? 
Guys fucked you up. Yeah, so discipline them. What about your guy? Now, I give you my word that he won't hurt you. I'll tell him that I got jumped by some guys. He is saying and everything I she should say. He wants to survive yep. this encounter. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Jesus Christ. Who or what? <laughs> Man, lucky that wasn't you. Also, don't breathe that. This would be the fireflies, right? Must be, yeah. Which is incredibly coincidental. He's gonna let her go anyway, yeah. I guess. That sounds like it. Wait, all of them are like knocked out except her? Okay. Oh, wow, that's lucky. I don't even know where the other guy went. I was gonna say the main dude, I guess I he ran off. Robert ran off, right? Maybe, yeah. or he's in the corner? Or well, because remember, the, the exciting thing was that Robert stole their guns, uh, yeah. sold them to the Fireflies. You know a change like how long Tess will be in this story? That's something that really, to me, depends on how you handle it. It's not like an outright wrong to me. It's going to be dependent on what they do. I'm not a firefly! Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. One. Fuck. You. State your name. Slowly. Veronica. Same as yesterday. Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! Ellie in The Last of Us 1 is just so gosh darn likable. Nothing? Is there any chance it's coming in at night? You're sleeping, you miss it? When I'm sleeping, Gabriella listens, or my son, the smart one, not the other one, God bless him. <laughs> if Tommy responded, we'd know. It hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. It's never taken him more than a day to respond. Show me where that tower is. Joel, it's in Wyoming. There are worse things than infected out there. Californians. Are are but you're sure Tommy's okay? It's, uh, it's the Cody Tower. Q-Bar 4, but I don't know exactly what... Probably listen to his explanation. I was, I was actually about to Next. say, dude, you want... He's gonna have the best information out of anybody, right? Yeah. You're gonna... You let him talk and explain in thorough detail where he thinks you need to be that going. That little circle he's made on the map, that is incredibly important, down to the last little scratch. Because you might say, sure. it's probably here, but if not, you might want to check over here where they're, you know... Yeah, Wyoming's a fucking long way. I guess he's trying to figure out what route he's taking. God. It's gonna be a fun trip. Right. Dulls the pain. I got jumped by a couple guys. You're lying. Come on, you know these guys born after the outbreak? Never learned how to argue, they start swinging. I need the battery, Tess. Truck's sure no good without one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. Okay, fuck it. We get our money back and the battery. All this for such a mundane item. No, I promised Robert that you wouldn't hurt him. Ain't no mundane items in this world. To hurt him. That's the idea. So let's go hunt that motherfucker down. It's weird, because I just had to, I had to replace my car battery uh, about a week or, about a week ago. I just walked in, bought one, walked out with it. Simple as. But now it's like worth potentially killing over having a working car battery. Or imagine a charger. Or a McDonald's Happy Meal. Or a McDonald's Happy Meal, that's true. Girl or boy toy, doesn't fucking matter. Marlene. We've already lost four people, and we're... What's the point of this? One of now, see, I don't think I'd be My putting the logo up on the wall. And why do you have yeah. a girl locked in the room? <laughs> and the guys you have guarding her won't tell me shit? But... Tell them to follow fucking orders. You two, go to Southeast 3, now. That'll quell the uh, I wanted inquisitiveness. To Are the Fireflies being fitter anyway? Rebellion takes time. If you fight for 20 years and you get nowhere, you're not a rebellion. You just spray paint. Why do we spray paint that? Why do we do that? I can understand putting it in... Here, random places here, as a form of here, like we're here yeah. we're, we're moving things and, but in your actual hq we're quitting no we're taking that random girl locked in that room west that'll be the cure yeah keep it quiet i wonder if we're gonna get much like PR because in the game what like the fireflies get yeah basically wiped out moving west and would then make sense well. to retcon just how much we got to learn about them if we're going to be going with the last of us uh, two storyline uh, also they've changed the stuff with tommy because there was no like big urgent thing with tommy it was just no go find him he 
fireflies, he can help you out. And even it's such a tough sell. You you want us to the idea that you really want to make like endear us to Joel and everything, and then try and make it to the end. He was wrong in his decision. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm very yeah, curious. I don't know either. If you're feeling lost, you tell me to look for the light, and I'll break your jaw. Is that how the I fireflies would... recruit? Oh. And tell you to seek the shadow. Well, I mean, it cost us a couple of cards, but uh. We got him. I'm not sure why they didn't just have it, like, because with the big explosion and everything, it's like, it was just before, it was just Tess comes back, she's injured, let's go get Robert. Hmm. So, Veronica, how are you feeling? The same. A little bit down. Where are you going to go? Back to Federal Military School? They put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. I did. Ellie. My fucking mom or something? I look like your mom. I'm the leader of the Fireflies in the Boston QZ. Why would a terrorist dump me with Fedra? Terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? Ba -ba -ba -ba. I was gonna say we're running out of time to do our assumed action set piece for the Robert stuff, right? Ah, uh, well, yeah. I guess this would be it, right? Hey, look, they're like getting down, taking off the backpack like in the video game. I think they based that uh, in the video game off real life, though. You know Very what? true. Real life, my bringing real life did happen before video games. <laughs> real life, if you remember. Before. I know it's true. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder, Rex. Sometimes it is, I wonder. It is disgusting how real life, real life is just copied by video games. Oh, that's the one. I think they'll go for the stealthy approach. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. oh my God! It's annihilation. Yeah. I remember that movie. He wasn't down here last time. Did we be breathing? Ah, uh, well. I don't do the spores, spores anymore. No spores show. in this show. Oh, because that would cover up actors' faces. This will, I, I, you could argue that'd be a reason. This, it makes things less complicated for them storytelling-wise, I guess. Does it though? Yeah, there's less to worry about. I just, I don't know that that's a reason to stop doing it. I don't know. The spores was kind of an it's interesting like thing to have. Structure. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, there there will be consequences, obviously. Down. Like there has to be. You smell that? Asbestos gunpowder. Uh oh. Ooh. That's Robert, right? Is it? I was trying to spot the face. Well, the battery's no good. Oh. He still tried to sell it. I say we're really deviating from the game. Really, we're not in a wider context, but we are with how closely they were doing it before. Well, yeah, because this is totally different. Oh, well, yeah, because she got shot, yeah. Marlene? The war must be going pretty shitty for you to be buying from scumbags like him. Yeah, it kind of has been. The merch was bad. <laughs> She's standing there with a the bullet hole. <laughs> like, yeah. it's nothing great. Don't. Not at her. Can you just not be a barbarian, please? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd want my knife back, but yeah, it's probably not worth pushing like, it right now. It's there, it's there. Like, yeah, I'll get it later, you know? It's our business to know things. To know things. You're the cause of it. You turn my own brother against me. Okay, Joel. I wonder if we're, we're going to get any flashbacks of, like, Joel and Tommy. Because like Tommy is not, he so was not happy okay. about those experiences that he had. Yeah. I'm not going with them. Let me take her. We don't smuggle people. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? Oh, I, I really I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't know she meant literally. I thought she was saying yeah. that like What's you're an idiot. And I know what you're both capable of. What are you giving them? What are they capable of? You get her there safely, and they'll give you what you need. Not just a battery, the whole thing, fueled up truck, guns, supplies, all of it. Um. I swear. Yeah. Sorry. That's a lot of stuff. Is it really worth the I price? Swear. Because they could just go on a resource adventure themselves, right? Uh, they could. I but I guess so. There's still a lot to... of stuff out there. What I'm saying is, like, if you I, go and deliver her and come back, we'll get you a truck and guns and some supplies and stuff. And it's like, we could probably get that yeah, across, like, during delivering her. Probably. Well, because the original thing was Robert sold them the guns. And so it's like, well, I bought the guns for her in Square, so, you know, like... Yeah. I would have played more into the fact that it's obvious that this girl is fucked if you don't do this. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. If not, we kill her. There and then. Deal. Really? That fast? Don't fuck this up. Please. That's that's me to this show, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Cause it just there have been a few instances where the deviation is like, oh, that's like neutral, and then there are parts where it's good, and then there are parts where it's like, hmm, seems like a worse choice. 
That, that just made you more suspicious, honestly. Uh, yeah, that made yeah, you more suspicious, say, idiot. Because <laughs> remember, nobody here knows who you are or that. There's like, no reason. Yeah, nobody's you. looking for you. You're just a girl. Yeah, nobody's you're looking just a for random LA. person. Give us a minute, all right? I'm guessing that all. That, that, it, because. Uh, well, so I guess we should wait until. Can I just open the door if you wanted? She can hear them too. <laughs> Who's Bill Cast as? Who's Cast as? Uh, it's as? Nick Offerman. I think that could work out. Let's hope. Uh, that could be really cool. Yeah. If this is important and she just randomly stumbled over it and it's annoying so when that happens. Yeah. Oh, come on. You knew she heard all that, right? Radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song. They don't have anything new. 70s. They got new stuff. A lot of this dialogue is one to one. What are you doing? Killing time. What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. So what's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of bigwig's daughter or something? Something like that. Oh, the radio came on when you were sleeping. It kept saying, like, like wake me up before you go-go. Oh, shit. 80s means trouble. Code broken. Listen, it could be something specific. We don't know. Time to go. Wonder if it actually would have been a good idea to go at night in that case. Yes. Because there's a curfew because of the Firefly stuff, so they went at night instead of during the day while there's like... A Remember how the guy said earlier? They'd be jumpy? They'll be... I guess they've got don't. this passageway. Don't go out at night because of the yeah. Fireflies. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me think. It, I, it could be fun for a conversation, right? Like, what makes more sense? Because... Of course, you have the cover of darkness, but you also have they're on high alert. So, yeah, it depends I guess the on where is the um... high alert in the day anyway, right? They'll be all over the place. Potentially, and yeah, it depends on where you're going yeah. specifically and where the ins and outs got, are. You got no good choices, really. Because <laughs> once you're uh, outside yeah. the wall, darkness is almost certainly best. Yes, uh, we, yeah, of course. Of course, now it becomes clear like the reason they showed us those people getting hanged is that raises the stakes for this. I feel like you'd want to be really sparing with that helicopter. Yeah. Fuel for that the, must be the precious. Fuel. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Fuel for helicopter is precious. Being able to go... Like, a helicopter is one of the most valuable things you could possibly have. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, right after a big firefly attack, you know. I suppose that's the angle, yeah. But still? Still, though. Like, are you just, like, looking if, randomly yeah, if, with, a, with a light to see if you're... literally see using it just to fly over and use a spotlight, that is a huge waste of something so very valuable. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, is he peeing? Oh, it's not the friend, is it? Uh, uh man. Uh, I was wondering if they were gonna have this be the ending, actually. Get on your knee. Listen, you let us do this run, we'll split the cards with you. Oh, will you? Yeah. Really, man? Yep. The game is by the book. Out of your fucking mind. We can fix this. Move. Oh, you didn't need to show it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. He pulls that trigger once and a gunshot happens. And he would totally have pulled. Absolutely. That this was also is... an interesting reaction from her there, that first one. That one's fine, though. Damn, don't, like, hurt your hand. You'll need that. No, no! No, I'm not sick! No! I'm not sick! No! I'm not sick! No! Look! Look! This is three weeks old! Nobody lasts more than a day! We gotta move, Joel! They're gonna take the gun, Why take the gun. Why didn't they have part of the conversation where, like, they thought that Marlene set them up? They thought that they were, like, getting put in a shit situation. They would be thinking that, surely, right? There'd be so much. I mean, maybe we're gonna get it. The next episode, maybe? We have episode, to have a come yeah. to Jesus meeting, yeah. yeah at the beginning of, of next episode. Yeah, stuff to be talked about. Surely that's the end. What else we got? Man, I would grab more if I could off that guy. So, right after he something. left, he got a radio message then. From Tommy, I guess. Or to signify After something three about weeks. Well, that sounds I do. Oh, there's the buildings. Yeah, on well, then. Hmm. Well, that wasn't bad at all. I would say it I achieves the rank solid. of good. I would say it's yeah. good. It's just that there are some minor things where it's like just minor little, like, hmm. 
Yeah, or, need some mm. tweaks. Um, yeah, to... but it's, but that's the thing. It's tweaks. Like the core's really strong, which it should be right. Like you're, you're uh, yeah, I'd agree. I think this is uh, definitely good. Because like the burst shot that takes out his original daughter, I'm pretty sure that's just exactly how it is in the game. And I think I even I'm even like one of the people who's like, hmm. Mm, but, uh, I don't know how you. I I don't know how it's possible for you to miss. But all right. You remember Frank? Does he get more more wounded in the in the game version than in this? He's less wounded in the the game version. I don't think he even gets hit. So much of this is like beat for beat, very similar. But then yeah, there are which, a few parts where it's a little bit. If it turns out to be um, beat for beat almost throughout, not not changing. Like this is strictly a hypothetical. I don't think this is going to happen. But if they were to do it one to one and only changing stuff for like pragmatic reasons for adaptation no reason why this wouldn't be very popular it's already got a built-in audience and then it would finally prove like maybe you should stick to the source when you adapt maybe the you games should, yeah, maybe you should respect that what you're adapting has merit because it's, in, it's funny um, to me that this might get quite a bit of hatred because of the current zeitgeist around the ip but at the same time this could be the thing we need to finally prove that uh video game adaptations the only thing that was stopping it is paying a fucking attention to the original well and yeah why people like it in this case in this case, like as we saw during the opening sequence, a lot of it was just take the same material but expand it. Don't really change it. Add new information, sure. I add new scenes, but like keep the, the, the core stuff the same. Because it's the same, right? Like Joel's got the same setup in terms of what his character arc is going to be. Ellie's probably going to have the same stuff too, right? And I imagine it's going to be yeah, cause... fairly consistent for everybody, right? Like Bill's going to have probably more stuff with uh with his partner frank and then you'll probably have more for tommy maybe maria as well like it, it just seems like if this is any indication of the way that they're going to adapt it it will just be keep basically the same beats but expand them and tweak them in a little bit which compared to the likes of halo which like radically changes yeah, the story's annihilated. Different. well it annihilates it it's just it doesn't even do seem like halo at all play. well and it's why we're, well, they we're highlighting they the spores important. right yeah. it's not because i love the spores and i wish the spores were here as a fan of spores it's that mm, if you don't have spores it, there's a couple of things you're going to have to change in the story yeah. now it's well, items, yeah, items yeah. items of value it's things you can I go places you might not be able to go items you need to have it's a sense of tension i will say in that in this the only thing to me that seemed like noticeably different and that it will probably have major implications is seemingly the stuff with tommy because like in the game all it was was like tommy is off you know in like he's in jackson he's not with like the fireflies anymore he's not with joel anymore uh you gotta go find tommy because he can help you link up with the fireflies because of his connections like that was it whereas it seems they've got more of like a pressing tommy is in trouble maybe which makes me wonder, mm -hmm. is it not just going to be that they get to Jackson and everything's really chill, and then, you know, they have their little moment together? And My yeah, guess like, is that they're setting something up as, like, a different plot point, but, I mean, otherwise it's pretty pretty similar. And if we didn't have any context, if we were to be watching this just as a TV show, I imagine right now we'd be talking about, oh, this, this uh, you know, Joel's the character, he seems to be, like, he's, he's hardened as a result of what happened with his daughter and that uh this new girl i i wonder how much i'm gonna be basing it off what i know versus what i'm given would i have concluded from this one episode that this is clear we're going to be repeating do i think they've set enough groundwork to be like oh look he's got a bad relationship with this girl because he doesn't want to even risk getting close to it or am i being a bit harsh and i should wait for at least another episode before we've set that foundation well, it's one episode and we only spent half of it in our uh like they barely well they, they met barely each other for like five minutes yeah yeah I, I get what you mean, because, like, I'm going to be... It's very hard for me not to view this without always constantly, like, drawing my attention yeah, back. Yeah, it's tough. They did like, I got to I gotta well, really uh, separate uh, them out as uh, they are well, separate. Well, I, I guess that would, be, that would be the thing to clarify. Everything where it's, like, it's different, I'm not, like, thinking that it's bad or anything. I'm more just like, hmm, I'm curious. Yeah. Like, the Tommy thing. Like, that could be that could be a whole episode. Or the spores. Be, I guess. Like, it's not necessarily yeah. bad. We'll have yeah. to see what happens. Like, you know, even something that's seemingly way less consequential, which is just, like, the, the whole thing with the guns versus them getting the battery and the supplies to go find Tommy. Yeah. It's just different. Like, whether or not it's, it's a better or worse change. I think I think the only things would be like, man, that it was the same guy that you bumped into, like out there, when in the game it was just two random soldiers. It's like that's very coincidental. Um, though I guess it's pretty inconsequential. It didn't seem to make much of a difference, right? Like there's a couple whether or of not it was him. coincidences of like I would call them mid. They are mid coincidences in terms of impact. Um, yes, some of these. Yeah. They're not, they don't destroy anything, but they're not exactly small. <laughs> they wouldn't be called well, small. Well, and I guess it's really interesting because it's like the game didn't have those. So like you changed it and kind of added coincidences where they didn't really exist in the games. Yeah, and 
And part of the trouble is that we, I, I guess we need to wait a little longer before we can be definitive because it might be in aid of something we don't know yet in terms of what of story they want to tell. Or th there's more information that we'll get to contextualize some of these things better. Who knows? But yeah. Just, um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to... There's not much to be crit critical of, really, by way of, like, what's happening with the plot, because we barely started yet, and otherwise, in terms of character, I feel like, you know, like, with each scene, we've gotten a pretty good read of every person, you know? I mean, like, I, me, I feel like by the end of this episode... This might be the very first proper archetype of what people want when you adapt from a game to a TV show. Um, and yeah. it's, yeah. it's kind of crazy, right? It's like, oh, surely Arcane. It's like, no, 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 Arcane, Arcane's not the same thing. It's it's like a, a really great TV show that uh, is inspired by League of Legends. This is practically telling the same story, but again. Um, yes, yeah, so it's more of a direct adaptation because when it, you, you run the gambit, it's like, and hey, we can pivot it to the other Naughty Dog thing. Uncharted's very different. It has Nate and it has Sully. But doesn't have Elena, doesn't have the same El Dorado, like a central, doesn't have the same villains, doesn't have the same dynamics or interactions at all. It's it's very different. Whereas in this case, it's it's the same plot. It's just like minor changes and variations. And there's not a lot of video game adaptations that are like that, that are directly doing... Mortal Kombat was not really directly, like, pulling any story from any Mortal Kombat game. Kind of pulled bits and pieces, and of course Halo was, like, not even fucking close <laughs> like it's totally different well that's kind of the thing right uh, you'd be like there they should theoretically be four results ones that are uh, the unfaithful but you know well executed so uh, yep. arcane unfaithful and badly executed bad halo. halo uh faithful um, and badly executed is that have we got one for that i the we problem I is think we got one for that. there are, there are not so. many faithful video game adaptations there just aren't um at least they haven't been for a they just, while. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the that's uh, the reality we've been in for so long. They just don't care. Evil, when you adapt something like Resident they, Evil, yeah. it's like, what do I take it? Zombies? Mansion? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then, of course, it's... Because it, when I'm thinking about other examples, it's like Castlevania is kind of like its own thing. Like, I don't think that one was retelling. It was kind of like a... It pulled characters, right? But different scenarios. And then Edge Runners is like adjacent. It's like set in the same universe, but it's not an adaptation of twenty seventy seven. What about that, that Pac Man movie with Adam Sandler? Oh, Pixels. Pixels. Yeah, everyone loved that, right? Uh, That's right, they uh, did. Uh, everyone yeah. did love that one, yeah. And then, of um, course, you have. I'm sure that there's, uh, there's other ones I'm getting as well. And then you'd have Faithful and Good, and, and that good. is what I would it's rate this right now. Yeah. Well, this episode for sure. Well, yeah. you know what's crazy um, is that there are people who, if they loved Last of Us enough, could be like, this fucking shit isn't faithful. Have you seen how much they fucked it? I'd be like, yeah, see, everyone's going to draw a line uh, differently. <laughs> like, I pretty darn close. Like, I feel I like imagine. I've got my references, and it's like, there are a lot of lines that are just, like, identical. Your watch is broken. Your watch is broken. You mumble in your sleep. You mumble in your sleep. Um, one it time. really depends on how you do it, right? Because, like, if, if it was, how much does it stay one-to-one? -one? It's like, well, okay, it doesn't in a lot of ways, but, like, no, the, no, the no. spirit is absolutely, we know exactly what we're getting from this. It's going to be what the point of the game is. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Me. You're going to be okay, baby. Stay with me. I'm going to pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay. All right. Baby. Baby. Baby, listen to me. I gotta get you up. Come on, baby. Please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. I know, baby. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Joe. Come on, get up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. The fact that they were even trying to, like, mirror the vibe or the atmosphere of specific moments in the game with the framing, right? Like in the car, where it's very much 
Because, I mean, they did the same thing, right? In the game, Sarah is the POV character in the, yeah, uh, the opening. In the opening, and then it, and then it kind of transitions gradually over to Joel, and they did the same thing, too. And, like, it, it feels very deliberate. It's weird to see that kind of thing with the comments that came out before this thing you released. What are you, what are you thinking of? Like one's about storytelling in video games you got you got a vibe oh i get you. yeah right it's like why were you like it it seems maybe that maybe that's the neil Druckmann influence of trying to like inject the stuff from the game that he worked on yeah and maybe i'm not sure it's i mean it's always going to be well, hard to say right like, it could just be the man was saying some stuff that didn't translate well slash he wasn't explaining himself too well because take for example uh the whole like oh you can reset a whole thing because it's a video game and that'll ruin the your investment yeah. blah 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 you could imagine if he was given like an hour to explain entirely what he means he could be like a lot of the time in cutscenes we do it because it's really hard to have something bombastic or significant drama happen and then like reset because you died or you didn't press the switch or you didn't blah blah, blah. so we usually cordon those big moments off to cut scenes so that they are like that's one of the many reasons why that might happen uh, so you can't fuck it up and you're fear you, you are permanently progressed you don't see that twice you don't see something like his daughter dying twice because you didn't kill enough guys at one point that's done and it's yeah. not you know um and then it could be like and that's what we're doing in the tv show now it's going to be every moment is one you see once and so we can further focus on like that aspect that gaming does really well but i'm saying this as if it's even close to something he might think i don't know i'm just going from the fact that i've seen this and i'm like oh you clearly respect the game then it's it's hard not to get the sense that there is respect being paid to the game in in mm -hmm. Uh, like even even yeah, in what weird. we've seen so far, it is kind of weird, right? The comments, but then again, a lot of his comments were like, "This is the greatest story ever told in video games," which like, calm down. But st yeah. but still, I mean, though, right? like it, it, but, yeah. I'm fine with him well, saying it's, it's his it's, favorite, but greatest it's, it's, it's bit the, much. Uh, well, let's put it this way. It's a lot better that he doesn't seem to have contempt for The, for the <laughs> yes. Last of Us. Yeah, even it's if nice. That's a good about, start. Even if his comments about the industry and the medium as a whole have been very bizarre. Like, it seems like a lot of it has been fawning over the games. And I guess the fact that you've got, like, some involvement from, like, Naughty Dog, you know, people that there's that. Um, I, yeah, I guess just... all I would say is, like, after that first episode, it's like, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, that's... Well, that's, uh, uh, what are the neat. talking points? Like, I think that all the acting is... Uh, fine to good. Um, I'm not sure I've yes. been blown away yet. I'm hoping I will be when we get to the harder stuff. Uh, but well, be, I mean, you know, it'd be I, nice if I there's mean, a performance in here that makes me go like, "Holy fuck, that was amazing!" Well, I mean, yeah. we got a lot of a lot of really crazy moments, right? Like, um, yeah, like Ellie against David, the the cannibals, like that scene. Yeah, we've the got a lot Henry to come. stuff as well. Like, there's yeah, and of course the ending. There's a uh, there's a lot of stuff. That, that could be like really uh like really showcasing um, production value it, it it feels like a movie obviously that's we're in that era yeah tv shows looking like yep. films um this one's got a lot of money behind it but more so than halo which it oftentimes felt cheap this one felt like super duper cohesive like yeah. there was never a point where i'm like man i feel like you're on a set i didn't yeah, really have yeah. those sort of i never feelings. got those moments at all it all felt there's a lot of there's a lot of cool cinematography choices again it's like there's a clear dedication to like realizing something here so that's a good sign definitely shot with care um oh yeah so i'm, and, I'm and I, really I, curious to see more and i guess something that i i would like to actually give them props for is like bringing back the original composer is really cool um, bringing back some of the actors from the games either to play the same character or to appear in some other capacity is really cool because, like, a few people from the games are going to be in the show. Not playing the same characters, obviously. Likely to do um, with Marlene Druckmann's connection by... as well. That would have facilitated a lot of that, I'd imagine. Listen, well, I think it's just Last 2 is terrible, to... but if this is worth complimenting, we can't be lying about it. <laughs> like, that's just how well, it Well, I mean, if, if this show is really great, he deserves credit for that because he is, like, a major... He, he co-wrote the show. Like, <laughs> it's, he's, honestly, he's directed a few episodes. So, so. The thing about it is, like, if it were as good as it currently is, when this one episode for like nine out of ten episodes, and then the tenth one they change everything to match Lost for Suit, <laughs> that is gonna piss me off so hard. Oh yeah, but hopefully they they're not gonna be doing that. I don't um, know what they're gonna be doing. I don't know what they're up to. You know, it's kind of hard. But to... I suppose that the reality is, if they maintain this this quality, it's like, oh, you've d you've done a good job. Um, I don't know if you've done as incredible. It's it's hard to say, right? Like, um, because it's not done yet. We're not. Went on up to a lot of the big payoffs. Um, no, and I guess we don't know. Yeah. Th this may very well be the most faithful episode, for all we know. Yeah, I suppose. The interesting thing will be, like, almost sitting there wondering. Because my impression would be episode two ends with Tess dying. And then, you know, them setting off. Something that I know for sure is that they're going to do way more with Bill and uh, his partner. Like, that's going to be a much bigger 
uh, thing than just like a story that, which is kind of expand interesting. everywhere. Like, there is room to expand, but then there's also the question of how much do I want to see? Do, like, do I need to see what Joel and Tommy got up to during those intervening twenty years? Well, how long are these episodes going to be? I'm assuming this is an abnormal length. I presume that they're. I presume that they're going to be like an hour, roughly. Yeah, right. Like I would assume. Well, I, was, around, so. I wouldn't have been surprised. If it was like forty-five minutes, but I guess we're going to be fifty. Ah, uh, maybe. You're right. So sometimes they're chongus episodes. Seriously though, if, if they stay the course of this first episode, there's no no nothing stopping them from being popular. I don't think. I don't. I think I, so. I, this is definitely yeah. the beginning of what could be a very good you know a good track to be on yes i agree that was a good premiere definitely a good start we uh give a thumbs up and well thumbs up. i guess a thumbs up even consider the thumbs upwards uh we will likely continue to watch them uh as i think so yeah i'd like to watch it whether or not you guys would like to see more of this sort of thing what you just watched there let us know in that comment section below but, that's right um, yeah other than that, that's The Last of Us TV Show Episode 1. Episode 1. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, bye. Goodbye, everybody. What'd you bring me?